lecture and now in this lecture we will be posting some of the transactions relating relating to our business and hdfc bank so first transaction is a company received check from muti traders of rupees 30000 dated 1st april 2020 so first of all i am changing my date here and i am selecting accounting vouchers then receipt voucher with hdfc bank and i am receiving a check from muti traders for 30000 rupees and then fulfilling the details as required giving the check number now i am specifying the bank name and accepting the screen now a second transaction is a company receive check from kokan enterprises of rupees 40000 and deposited it in bank on the same day so again a receipt entry in the bank from kokan enterprises for rupees 40000 and then you have to fulfill the details give the check number specify the bank name here icici bank let's suppose the check was of icic bank and i am accepting my screen now the next transaction is a company paid telephone bill of rupees 500 from check to the bsnl company now we have to take payment voucher in this we have to make a payment from hdfc bank against telephone expenses of rupees 500 and you have to select the check details now here you can see it is automatically fill, uh, filling the details of check range and automatically selecting the check number so this was the same check number that we were issuing and i am accepting the screen simple entries next is our company issued a dd of rupees 40500 for the purchase of softwares in the name of software solution private limited with check number 143102 dated 2nd april 2020 so now we have to change the date i am taking your hdfc bank for software expenses we are paying 40500 by check and again you can see this is picking up the check number by itself and i am accepting the screen now you can see in your banking bank reconciliation hdfc bank account more entries got added in your reconciliation statement now what we have to do we have to see our bank statement to reconcile these entries so i am showing you bank statement this is the hdfc bank statement for financial year 2020 21 for samiksha traders and the details are given under bill so first thing i am noticing here is the opening balance is 12000 but as we can see in our hdfc bank account of last year the opening balance in our books of accounts is 20000 why there is a difference between our closing balance that is our opening balance of this year and the bank books because of these two unreconciled entries so first of all what i am doing i am posting this opening balance of this year that is the closing balance of last financial year as on 31st march 2020 this will become my opening balance i am posting that in my hdfc bank ledger for that i have to alter my hdfc bank account ledger from ledgers i am selecting alter hdfc bank and now here i am posting my opening balance over here 20000 rupees mark my words you don't have to pick this opening balance from your bank statement otherwise you cannot reconcile your statement because you have to post the opening balance as per your books of accounts and i am accepting the screen here now coming back to the reconciliation statement you can see here we have posted the balance as per company books and now we have to put on the bandage to reconcile this 
statement this bank this account books with our bank statement this is shown here now one by one what we'll do we'll take a check number and we reconcile the statement the transaction with the date given in bank statement so in bank statement our first transaction is for check number 123456 that got cleared on 1st april 123456 that cleared on 1st april i am writing here the date to reconcile the statement next we have 113233 and this is clearing on 2nd april 113233 this is clearing on 2nd april easy now next we have 45678 and this is clearing on 2nd april this is 456 and this is clearing on 2nd april now we have 143102 and clearing on 2nd april so 143102 this is clearing on 2nd april now the next entry we have is dd commission charges so dd commission charges we had not posted any of the entry yet why because we were not aware about this charge that bank has deducted automatically from our bank account so what we'll do we'll first of all accept this reconciled statement and after that when you go back you will see the reconcile that unreconciled entries are left with us as two now for that charge that bank has deducted from our bank account must be posted here in accounting vouchers in payment voucher hdfc bank here we will take commission charges and the amount was 100 rupees as on 2nd april so i'm taking 100 rupees i'm taking it others because we had not issued the check and the instrument number you can see here is 000 so i'm keeping it 000 here and date 2nd april now i am accepting the transaction we have to go back to banking and then we bank reconciliation we have to reconcile this bank charges entry as per our bank statement this is reflecting on 2nd april i am putting here 2nd april 2020 and accepting the screen now to check the closing balance of bank and to match this with your bank book what do you have to check you have to go back to bank reconciliation hdfc bank now here you can see the balance as per bank is as same 9400 on 2nd april as this is reflecting in a bank statement i hope you are clear with the concepts of bank statement bank reconciliations and preparing the bank reconciliation statement